Okay, today doing this video on checking the phase or wiring up the um, two transformers. This time it's in parallel, but it's the same concept if you were wiring them in series. Just showing how to um, check your phase. And I don't know of any trick or shortcut. What I do is... Um, get out the trusty old meter put it on AC volts and connect the uh, leads to the output and in this case the it's the high voltage of these two transformers I just put in this uh, BLJ 500 one of the original transformers was bad and I couldn't find a uh, exact replacement and these transformers are or were from a junk Looked like somebody tried to copy or make a homemade Maverick 250. Um, so it had two of these transformers in it, which is the same common transformer that is used in uh, most DNA amplifiers, including the Maverick and the Phantom 500. And since I had that junk box that was, you know, pretty much stripped, no tubes and not a lot of parts, but it did have the transformers, I took the transformers out of that and uh, put these in here and wired them in in replacement of the one bad and one good original transformer that was in it these are actually a little bit bigger so I'm hoping uh, to have a little bit more um, output or maybe a little bit more stable voltage with the uh, bigger transformers and they're both in um, parallel on this amp so that's a lot of transformer for a uh, one drive and four, you know, tube amp. But anyway, um, once you got them in, it's like, how do you um, know that they're in phase or out of phase without plugging it in? And if they're out of phase, you're going to um, get some sparks and blow a fuse if you just hit it with the high voltage. I know of no shortcuts other than hooking it up like I got, do now, the two red wires coming from each transformer you know they come out of there and they come out of this one different like on the side how do you know which one is in phase and which one is out of phase if you have them up hooked up in phase the voltage will be right and the current will be low there's nothing else hooked to the output of these transformers the power supply board is not even hooked up yet so there's no load on them so you can have full voltage as far as what you put in and what you get out at low current um, if you had them hooked up out of phase they would be fighting each other and you know well one was going positive the other was going negative so your net voltage would be you know zero or close to zero and your uh, amps or current would be high with them two fighting each other so out of phase which is wrong which you don't want you're gonna have uh, low or no voltage out and high current and in phase you're gonna have the correct voltage out and low current and the correct voltage on these amps this is just a quick um, schematic of the transformers only that's the input side you know your normal 110 house AC coming into uh, the winding on that side and the only thing we're using on these transformers is the uh, two reds the high voltage out and these transformers put out about 600 volts each so basically the voltage is about six times what you put in it so 110 in 600 out and we're hooking them in parallel so it's going to be the same thing 110 in 600 out um, and all I did was hook you know one red wire to another red wire and a second red wire to the um, the top wire here to the top wire there the problem with phase and all that is um, which one's the top you know which one's the bottom if I knew that you probably would have a better shot at you know um, hooking them in phase if that second transformer was more like um, this one here where you can actually see you know top and bottom and all that in there but on this one it's just kind of a jumbled mess this was you know from factory it's like this one you know the um, 
the uh, wires come out the bottom and then on this one it was the side so anyway that's one reason why you can't tell you know which one's the bottom and which one's the top and also that's no foolproof even if they you know looked exactly the same and you got the wires all right you you know internally on the transformer the phase might be opposite you know where they started in the opposite direction you never know um, so anyway the only good way I know of to tell is if you got a variac like here and uh, I got it hooked up to the outputs to see what we're gonna get and I'd also have a um, amp meter in line and I got another amp meter actually on the variac but um, I like looking at the digital one and I got the meter hooked up to the volts and I'm gonna slowly turn up the variac and see what I get far as volts see I'm on about two volts there and I got about six volts or well, ten volts out slowly turning up the variac and I got the variac dialed up to about 10 volts and I got about 50 out you know which is good you know uh, close to that 6 to 1 I was talking about um, and over here you know 0.1 amps on that one and this one is very barely moving that's why I like the digital I can you know get a better picture so it's not pulling high amps and the voltage is coming out right so I have them wired correctly in the correct phase if it was out of phase right now I would have you know instead of 50 I would probably have one or two you know volts if that and the current would be you know 510 amps you know instead of 0.1 amps so since I think I got them wired right well pretty sure I'm gonna slowly turn up the variac some more and we we're up to 20 and looking at my meter and you know checking for smoke and arcs and now we're up to 30 um, again the um, power supply capacitor board is not in the circuit it's just the high voltage stops right there so I ain't got to worry about um, power supply caps you know charging or reforming or nothing right like that right now we're just checking the phase and the output of the transformers and you know we had 30.2 amps because also this amp is live you know I don't have the um, high voltage hooked up but the uh, filaments and the low voltage and everything else is so it's gonna pull a little bit as I go up you know but 30 volts it slowly go up to 40 50 you can see the fan trying to run now like I say the amps live except for the high voltage dialing her up that's about 90 we're at 530 volts and be careful if you're gonna try this and don't dial it up if your volts don't start coming out right um, you know you got something wrong so turn it off and go back to the drawing board and try it again okay I got the variac finally up to about 114 give or take you know the amps pulling about uh, 1.2 amps like I say the filaments are running yes you can see them glowing in there fans running this one has a separate low voltage transformer so that's why it didn't have any of these low voltage taps for the filament or anything else because the uh, these transformers are only going to run the high voltage and right there you know uh, 645 volts out of these transformers no load at 115 going into the variac so I'm good to go next step is to um, hook up the high voltage and slowly variac that up and then uh, go from there one thing to be careful of uh, in an amp though if the um, some amps like DNA and Palomar the transformers are not live or turned on until you key down they go through one of the relays I've made videos on the Palomar uh, high voltage relay where most of them have it you know as an added safety factor it doesn't turn on the um, high voltage till your key down and also I know DNA Phantom 500's do it if not more but I know for a fact the Phantom 500's got one of the relays in there it 
um, turns on the transformer the high voltage side only when it's keyed down so just be mindful of that if you're not getting anything out but anyway I took these readings right off the high voltage windings of it and I knew this one the um, transformers are live with the power switch so that's gonna be it on this be careful doing this um, I don't want anybody killing themselves you know if you have any doubts or don't know what you're doing just don't do it uh, take it to a tech but that's the only way I know of and I've asked on different forums and other ones if there's an easy way to check the phase of a transformer and everybody else you know came up with the same answer as me it's like put it on a variac and slowly dial it up and again if it's wrong it'll let you know them amps are going to go uh, way up and the voltage won't all right that's it for this one bye